five things chickens need in the winter time. Oh, I know that one. It's got to be a chicken sweater. Nope. It's got to be chicken booties like these. Definitely no. Don't be telling me it's one of those jumpsuits for chickens. Those things are a wicked piss out to get on. Hell to the no. Number one. Fresh water every day. We use rubber bowls around here and heated dog bowls. Number two, access to good quality food. So as you can see, these guys are used to foraging in the woods, foraging outside, eating grass, eating bugs. The winter time, they don't get to do that all that much. This is the end of January. It's pretty, pretty unusual for them to be able to get out into a bare spot like this and peck around and scratch around. This is good for them. But if you don't have good quality food for them in the winter time, if they're molting going into winter, it takes them a lot longer to grow their feathers back if they don't have good food. And they could be uh, susceptible to illnesses and bugs and anything you can think of that chickens might catch. So if they can't do this in the middle of winter, give them some good quality food and they'll be they'll be on the right track to being healthy all winter. Number three, a covered area to get in out of if it's storming, rain, snow, hail, sleet, whatever it is, place for them to go besides the coop. Doesn't have to be expensive or pretty. This is a cover it. This is what we use for our chickens. On the inside connected to the shed, there is a pop door for them to go in and out so they don't have to come outside over here and go all the way around. They can if they want, but they don't have to. They come inside, it's not frozen. This is all sand. They can come in here and dust bathe, peck around if they need grit or just hang out. You can go in there if you want. Number four, they need a dry, draft-free shelter for the night. Our chicken coop has two windows. This is the big window, and then it has a small one on the other end, and it also has a door in it. The draft-free part is going to be up there in your eaves. Can you see the eaves? I've got it all enclosed up there so that there's no animals that can get in and out of there, but we can get air in and out. If you have a window that opens from the top, you can leave a little, little bit cracked open on the top to let some air flow through, but make sure that you put some screening on it so nothing can get in there and get after your chickens. This is the other side of those eaves. I don't know if you can tell with the light colors that you can see through there is the sun shining through. So it's open so the air can flow in and out. I do have a window. Now I could crack the top of that window down a little bit and give them some air that way, but there's enough in the eaves so I should not have to do that. And they've been pretty good for five years now. Number five. If you want your chickens to lay in the winter time, you have to supplement with light. I turn mine on on a timer. I have them come on at four in the morning, shut off at 7 a.m. That's way the sun is already coming up. So you don't have to worry about leaving your lights on all day long. Let them go to bed at a normal time at night, just by the sun and how that works. But in the morning, have them wake up a few hours earlier. They need at least 14 hours of light a day in order to lay really well, 14 to 16. So just add on a couple extra hours in the morning, 
before the sun comes up and you should get eggs before no time. It took mine about two weeks to run them every morning from 4 to 7 a.m. And then the rest of the day was regular light and I started getting all kinds of eggs. Bonus number six, come and hang out with your chickens. It's a long winter for both you and your chickens. It'll boost your mood and theirs. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at you, you've got all kinds of stuff in your crop. Oh, okay. I get it now. No sweaters, no booties, no jumpsuits. Ah, yeah, I gotta. Good to know. Hope that helps.